Hey Divination and welcome. Today in this tutorial, it's all about thinking outside the box with Divi Box Shadows. So this is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to start off by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to Pages and click on Add New. Now, you can call this page whatever you want, but I'll just call this Box. Click on Use Divi Builder, and then we're going to go straight to the Visual Builder. So over here, what we're going to do is we're going to load a layout pack. So we're going to come over here to the bottom, click on Expand Settings, and then we want to click on this plus button so that we can load our layouts from the library. Okay, so here we are going to look for our business consultant layout page. So just to make things easier for me, I'm going to use the search here to narrow them down. Okay, so here it is. I'm going to select it. So what we need here is the landing. So it's selected by default. So I'm going to click on use this layout and it's going to take a moment to load this pre-made layout. Okay, so now that our layout has been loaded, that's great. So over here on the top, I'm just going to delete this section because we don't need that. Okay, so let's start by adding our box shadows to this section. So I'm going to come over here, click the section settings, click on design, box shadow, and we are going to choose this one right here. And then we're going to make some further adjustments over here. So our box shadow horizontal position is going to be 1200. So I'm just going to type it in. For the vertical position, I'm going to set this to minus 520 pixels. And then I'm going to add my color. So to add my color, I'm just going to click on this eyedropper tool. And then I'm going to paste my values within these brackets. Now, if you want to use the exact values I'm using in this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Right, so what these settings have done is they have created this effect right here. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and save. And then now it's time to add our second box shadow. Okay, so that's looking good. All right, so our next box shadow is going to be on uh, this section. So I'm going to go into the section settings, click on design, box shadow. Right, so we are going to choose this one here. So I'm going to select it. So as you can see, the changes that are, that are taking place already are before we had this and now as soon as i click on this you can see the change that has been applied now next we need to add the box shadow horizontal position and this time it's going to be a minus 1000 pixels next we're going to add our box shadow vertical position and this one is going to be minus 740 so you can see the changes that are happening here so if i undo this you can see that the shadow is gone and as soon as I add it, there it is, there it appears. Okay, and then we want to add also the box shadow spread strength, and this is going to be minus 39. So I'm just going to add it in here, like that. And then finally, we're going to add our shadow color. So I'm going to click this eyedropper tool and paste my values within the brackets, just like that. Okay, so we're done with this. So I'm going to go ahead and save. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to add a box shadow on the rows. So I'm going to come over here to my row settings, click on design, box shadow. So we're going to apply the same uh, type of box shadow that we did uh, previously. So here we're going to start off with adding our box shadow horizontal position. So this again is going to be a minus 700. And you can see that it's been added straight away here. And then next, we, we are going to add our vertical position, and this is going to be minus 300. So I'm just going to paste it in here like that. And then finally, we want to add our box shadow color. So I'm going to come over here to the eyedropper tool and paste my color. Now, this time, my color is going to be a solid color. So I'm going to drag this slider all the way up and then paste my hexadecimal value just like that. So one thing we're also going to need to do here is to remove the blur strength. So I'm just going to drag this all the way down so that we have a solid line. So you can see now that this is looking great. Next, we need to remove the row padding. So I'm going to scroll. I'm going to scroll here and go to spacing. And over here on the padding, we're going to make sure that we add zero and zero to the bottom as well. Then I'm going to go ahead and save. What we also need to do is in my uh, previous sections, I also added the box shadow, but I did not remove the box shadow blur strength. Okay, so I'm going to go into my section settings, click on design, box shadow, 
and I am going to reduce this box shadow blur strength. Now notice what happens when I drag the slider. Okay, so you can see here on the top here that the line is becoming less and less blur. Okay, so that's what we need to achieve. Okay, so let's go ahead and save. And we need to do this one more over here. So I'm going to go into my section settings, design, box shadow, and notice what happens here on the top as I drag it to the left, just like that. Okay, so that's looking much better. That's fantastic. Now let's move on and add our box shadows to our text modules. Okay, so we're going to start off by coming over here. So this is where we want to add our box shadows. So I'm going to click on my module settings, click on design, box shadow, and this is the one we're going to choose. And let's start off by adding our horizontal position. So I want to add 600 to this, that, so you can see now it's all the way over here to the right. Next, I'm going to add my box shadow vertical position, and this time it's going to be a minus 368. So I'm going to paste it in here like that. And then for my box shadow blur strength, I'm going to set this to zero. So this is the change that we've just made. Next, we're going to add our spread strength. So I'm going to paste it here and it's going to be 89 pixels. So you can see now it's a bit bigger. And then finally, we are going to add our box shadow color. So I'm going to come over here and click on this eyedropper tool. It's going to be a solid hexadecimal value. So I'm just going to drag the slider all the way up and then paste my value in here, just like that. Great, so that's all we need to do. Let's go ahead and save. Okay, so moving on, let's go ahead and also do the same to the next text module. So I'm going to come over here, click on this gear icon, design, box shadow, and it's the same box shadow as before. So I'm going to start off with my horizontal position, and this is going to be 350. For my vertical, this is going to be minus 600. So you can see here, it's all the way here to the top. Okay, so my blur strength, I'm just going to reduce that all the way to zero. And then I'm also going to add my color. And this time, my color is going to be an RGBA value. So I'm going to click this eyedropper tool and paste my value within the brackets, just like that. And you can see the change that has happened. So that's all we need to do here. Let's go ahead and save. Okay, so we also need to add the box shadow on a text module again. So I'm going to scroll down. So this time it's going to come over here. So I'm going to click here on the module settings, design, box shadow. I'm going to select our box shadow like that. Okay, so let's start by adding our horizontal position. So I'm just going to go in and paste my value and it's going to be 900 pixels. Next, we're going to add 520 on the vertical. Okay, so you can see it's right here on the top. The box shadows spread strength is going to be 160 so i'm going to add it here and this needs to be set to at zero and then my spread strength comes comes over here and then finally we need to add our color and this time it's going to be a solid color so i'm just going to come over here click the eyedropper tool and drag the slider all the way up and then paste my color in here just like that okay so for now let's save and then we also need to go into this text module so i'm going to click on module settings Design, box shadow, we're going to select our box shadow, just like that. Now let's add our positioning, so I'm going to start off with the horizontal position at minus 350. And then for the vertical position, this is going to be 500 pixels. So I'm just going to add my 500 pixels in here, just like that. And then the blur strength needs to be set at zero. And the spread strength needs to be set at 200 pixels, just like that. And then finally, we're going to add our box shadow color. So I'm going to click on the eyedropper tool. And this is also going to be a hexadecimal value. So you can see the changes happening right here on the bottom. I'm going to paste my color just like that. So that's all we need to do. We are done now. So let's take a nice preview and see what we've just created. So I'm going to go ahead and save changes. I'm going to publish the page. So this is the final design. So as you can see, our box shadows are in place. And that looks really creative. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.